In the new DMZ map, Koshai Complex, there's a secret shop that sells some really unique objects, including things like a calling card, a weapon like gun screen thing, and an emblem. These are things that you can't get anywhere else, and even when you manage to access the shop, it's still not that easy to get the things. But there's a mission that revolves around it, there's a mission that takes you there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the DMZ mission, Abandoned Operator. As always, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, but let's get started. So once you've got the mission on, Abandoned Operator, then you want to load into Al Masra. And as always, if you want to go to Koshai Complex, then you need to go into one of the bunker entrances. And the one we're going to use for this is, I think, the easiest one to go to the shop or to go to the bosses or anything like that. And that is the one that takes you to the barracks. So it's underneath the bridge between Tarak Village and Al Masra City. Now, as you can see, when we loaded into this game, we didn't have anything. We didn't have any gear. We didn't have any plates or self revives or anything. So it's usually a good idea before you go into the complex just to kind of load up on things you might need. It's really, really simple at the moment to build a free plate vest because all you need is two batteries, two hard drives and some soothing hand cream. Somehow they managed to fashion a vest out of that. But if you put all of that together at any buy station, you can make a comms vest, which is a free plate vest, and then you'll be ready to go in. So once you're all set up, you want to drive over to the north part of the map. Like I said, just between Tarak Village and Al Masra, there's this bridge. And the entrance to the bunker is underneath the bridge on the kind of right hand side of the screen from where you're looking at it now. I ended up parking the truck in a really awkward way that meant I had to swim the long way around. But never mind, we'll just ignore that. Now, whenever you're here, try to be careful because there's often other players trying to get in there at the moment. I'm sure this will quiet down over time. But right now, it feels like everybody's trying to get into the bunkers, trying to get into Koshai Complex. So every time you go in here, there's a decent chance there might be other players about. We got lucky this time. There was no one here. So we just went in. I quickly cleared out my bags because in Koshai Complex, there's always a bunch of stuff to pick up, especially for this mission. So make as much space in your bags as you can and then interact with the door and that will load you into the map. So when you load in, you're not going to have to worry about enemy players. They're not going to be in this first part. And there's only three enemies in this first section, which makes it very easy. But you do need to loot. When you get to the shopkeeper, there's going to be a randomized list of things that he needs to open up his shop. Um, and it's all unique items that only spawn in Koshai Complex. So things like employee handbooks, the Delta boards, Beta boards, things like that. The different chemicals like nitrogen, chlorine. Any of those sort of things, if you see them, make sure you grab them. Your team can split up here because there's not really any enemies. And in this first section that's kind of partially flooded, you're also looking for something that glows blue. And that's going to be the first barracks key. So there's two barracks exit keys in this early section. Um, one of them's going to be in this bit where luckily all of the rooms are only kind of a little bit flooded. There's space to breathe, which makes life much easier. And here you can see Flynn found it, barracks exit key A. And you're going to need to find both of these in order to get the easy route around to where the shopkeeper is. So I just swim through here and you can see there it glows bright blue. I just need to pick that up and hold on to it for later. Now, unfortunately, the next section that you go into isn't going to be quite as simple. But once you've got that key, do just keep on going around. Make sure you've picked up absolutely everything you can. Obviously, the bigger the backpack you've got, the better. So then you can put more different things in and communicate with your team. So like... If they've picked up some chlorine, you don't also need to pick up chlorine. Normally, the shopkeeper only asks for one of each object. But really do sort of thoroughly look around. Occasionally, you can just find things like the fuel rods that are worth tons of money. And then later on, when you need to get certain things for the shopkeeper, you might just be able to buy them. You might just be able to buy them from the buy station that's opposite, which will make your life much easier. But once you've thoroughly looted, you can loot this little weapon case. It just had aspen in, which sucked for me. And then climb up into this corridor. This is where the three enemies that are up here are going to be. There's two on the other side of this gate, then one down on the corridor to the right. And be a little bit careful here because there's a bunch of laser trip mines. As always, you can just kind of climb underneath them and then disarm the bomb on the wall if that makes life a little bit easier for you. Or you can just climb underneath them and completely ignore them if you want to. But there is some loot dotted around in this area, so it might be worth just disabling the trip mines and then having a look around and keep on picking up everything you can. If you see some night vision goggles in this area and you don't have them, make sure you pick them up. They're going to be useful for like the exfil part, unless you've got an L2 card. If you've got one of those L2 key cards from something, then actually you don't need night vision goggles at all because you're never going to go into the dark part. 
Now, to get the second barracks exit key, you're looking for a little wall that's got a red cross on it. It's like a little boarded up bit of wall. It's got a wooden panel across it. That's what you're searching for. Here, I make a stupid mistake and immediately run through two lasers and blow up a little bit. But there, you can see that wall. You can just put any explosive on there and it will blow a hole in it and then you can go through. And this is the area where you're going to be able to find the second key. And you can also find a lot of really good loot. The problem is that it is entirely flooded. If you've got a rebreather like I do here, it makes life so much easier because you can use it four times just to get your breath back. And that gives you time to really search around trying to find more loot. It feels like there's maybe some more high value loot in this area because obviously it's a much harder area to get to. These big wooden storage boxes often have things like the chemicals. There you can see I got some sulfuric acid and the scientist notes. So here I'm just trying to kind of juggle my inventory to make sure I've got one of each of the special things if I possibly can. The whole area down here is a little bit of a maze. There's a bunch of little like holes in walls that you can climb through. There's tons of loot boxes of varying kinds and there's some doors that you just need to go up to interact with to open. But once you end up going through these double doors at the end, there's quite a big room here and this is one of the places where the keys can spawn. It is kind of random where the keys spawn. Like they could spawn anywhere down here. We've been really lucky and found it in the side rooms right at the beginning so we didn't need to rebreather at all to do this. But sometimes it's been right at the back down here which has made our lives much much harder. It is strictly possible to get back here and to loot this without dying. You can swim right here and swim back but yeah it's a pain. So you can see here the barracks exit key B spawned on this little desk for us and also next to it is the heated madness optic and that's one of those blueprint parts where you need to find six of them and extract with them in order to unlock a new blueprint. We've only found a handful of those. I think I've got three of those so far. So I've still got a bunch more to find. But once you've got that key and now you've got both of the keys, you can just go back out the way that you came. And then if you go over to the other side of like these corridors where they all converge again, you'll see there's a little hole that you can drop down. Now you've got both the barracks keys and hopefully you've picked up a lot of loot. There's not really anything else important in here that you need but you do need to find the secret exit. Here you can see we were just messing around with armor and that's because really when you start getting towards the end of each of the beginning sections in this map, then other players could potentially be waiting at the bunker door. They could open your bunker door at the end and come back to try and kill you. So it's a good idea to be kind of prepared just to always have your gun loaded, have some armor on just in case something like that happens. Now you can see here, I'm just doing like one last check in case there's anything interesting through these like uh, sunken rooms, the underwater rooms. In this bit, thankfully, in the corridor, you can always breathe. So you can just keep coming back here. And what you're going to be looking for here is a secret exit. This is the special barracks exit that takes you almost directly to the shopkeeper. So you don't need to worry about going through the main bit, the sort of chemical section. You don't need to worry about finding the key to the factory section. You've already got all of that. You just need to find the special exit. So to find a secret exit, you want to swim through this door that's just opposite the window and then through this hole in the wall and then through this other door and then you should be able to find this little skylight bit where you can take a breather. Once you find this, you know you're going the right way. And then you want to swim through this door a little bit further. You can swim through another door on the other side and then there's another crack in the ceiling where you can climb out and this is the secret exit from the barracks. So this is the place you want to get to and this is where you're going to use those two keys. There's a little bit of loot here. I found an AQ laptop, so I was like, yeah, that's probably more valuable than having a self-revive. And then you can see there's the big lock on the wall. That's where we're going to put both of these keys. There's a bunch of these kind of situations around the map where you have special doors that if you find a key to it, it opens up a secret. So once you put both of the keys in there and turn it, it will say secret path unlocked to show you that, yes, this is definitely a secret. And then you've got a bunch more rooms to go through where there's a little bit more loot. And again, Keep on just trying to communicate with your team to make sure you've got as many of the different things as you possibly can. Also, try to make sure that you're together because in one of the next areas, there's a chance that there could be other teams there. If other teams were unbelievably quick, they could be there. They could be ready to fight you. We've ended up coming across a six man here before that absolutely ruined our day. I kind of wish you couldn't have six man squads in here. But yeah, it's entirely possible. It's also worth when you're checking these rooms, even if you don't have any space for loot, just remembering where stuff is because you're going to go to the shop and see this list and then you're going to have to go and try and find all of the things so like i saw there there's two sensitive documents there i can remember hey that's four thousand dollars sitting there if i need them so this big red sign says shop just on the ground floor you can go through here and then there's a big smiley face and an arrow go through there and this is where the secret shopkeeper is and you'll see all these notes dotted around 
For ours, it said you just need sulfuric acid and the scientist notebook. Now, the scientist notebook is actually just this object that says scientist notes. That's all you need. And what you're trying to do is unlock that secure buy station. So you can go to the extraction dead drops, it's just there, and put in the items that they need on that list. So you can see here Flynn had the acid, which was very handy. And I had the scientist notes. Just put them in the dead drop. And that should complete the second objective for you. And now you can open up the secure buy station. You just need to buy one item from it to complete the mission. So you can literally just buy an armor plate because a lot of the other things are incredibly expensive. But once you've bought that armor plate, that mission will be completely done, which is pretty amazing. You see there, mission complete, abandoned operator. Now, there's other cool stuff you can do with this buy station. If you go to the barter section, you can see there's an exclusive gun screen emblem and calling card that you can trade items for. You need a goldfish for one of them. I've got no idea where you find a goldfish on this. And you also need a Bunker 11 key card. Like Bunker 11. Bunker 11 is like the bunker from Verdansk, the original Easter egg for Warzone. It blows my mind that that exists somewhere. But yep, yeah, it's there. So if you can get a goldfish, if you can get a Bunker 11 key card, if you know where that is, let me know in the comments. But then you'll be able to get this gun screen. And you can also get stuff like a grenade launcher, a riot shield. There's tons of good stuff. It is all really expensive. It uses a lot of the kind of rare items, especially to unlock things like the emblem and the calling card. But a lot of those things you can buy from the buy station part. So if you've got enough money, you'll be able to unlock them. You can see here, after a little bit of scrounging, we managed to collect all of the things that you needed just to get the emblem. I think it only unlocked for me. I don't think it unlocks for everyone on your team. So you're going to have to like beg a little bit. But there I had the employee handbook, the server tape silver, the delta board and the acetic acid. And that got me a little emblem of someone waving cash around that I'm probably never going to use. But it's cool that there's exclusive little things that you can buy in the game. I thought that's really awesome. I hope they do more stuff like this in future. So that's pretty much it. You don't need to extract or anything like that for this, but you can always extract, obviously, by going back to the middle part, back to the um, chemical factory, if you want to extract there. Or if you've got an L2 key card, or you've got $50,000 in game, and you want to buy one, then you can go through the double doors near here and get to the special exit that way. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, if you want to see me making all of these videos, doing a lot of the, like, the recording, discovering a lot of this stuff in DMZ, come check me out over on twitch.tv forward slash geeky pastimes where I stream all of this stuff. I've been really enjoying Cushay Complex. It's frustrating at times. The story mission for this faction for tier four is unbelievably annoying and I'm kind of stuck on it at the moment. But if you want to see me tearing out my imaginary hair, then please do hop on over to twitch.tv forward slash geeky pastimes and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.